the video. And I walk along with the head of the I have a stomach for it. So Jesus in his glorious divine wisdom way is talking to you all. You, the person who doesn't seem to matter, who has no claim to it. And that person puts in two little pennies in these giant brass trumpet like things that the good religious people of nothing Saxon very proudly look at me. You know that anything that says look at me is not spiritual. And so he calls the four former bishops and disciples over. He says, truly I say to you, as you can imagine the master says, truly I say to you, it's time to listen. Something very important is coming. Not then, but now. Are you listening? Truly, I say to you. She has given more out of her heart. I'll be saying this in Aramaic. This is a denser language than English. Two words. Out of her poverty doesn't mean out of her full bank account. It means out of her being, out of her simple life. She gives everything. And that is more than anything the wealthy people can give. What does that mean to us? This is the answer to the first commandment. This woman gives her all. All she has, she surrenders to God. Living in God's protection and guidance. So we are given in this imagery the key, the secret to having a relationship with God, to experiencing the spiritual life. What is it? Not just reading books, not just coming to church, but surrendering all to God. Now let's get a feel about it. When you have a problem, raise your hand if you don't have a problem right after. When you have a problem, isn't it true that the first thing you do is try to figure out how you're going to fix it? How many of us forget to say, what would God have to do? What is God trying to teach me right now? Bring God into the equation. Amen. Because you have surrendered yourself to that reality. And then we get a whole new perspective. Because from our own perspective, we don't see anything. It's like sitting in your kitchen, at your kitchen table, with your cup of coffee. And all you see is that. Or being in an airplane, seeing the entire seat. Hold not. Only God can give you that perspective. Only God can solve problems. And the will represents the human being, each of us, who in our poverty, simplicity, need, gives it all. She knows from whence her blessings come. Mother Teresa said, her shocking, give it to lady, lady, if you give what you do not need, you haven't given anything. We are called to be self-giving people who will risk it all in the name of God. That's the community that this is meant to be. So conscious of God's protection, presence, guidance, goodness, that we risk it all, knowing that God will care. That is the Christ life. That is what we are going to look at here when the blood is shed. So this little passage story is not a stewardship campaign story. Because it's not about money. It's about who you are, not what you have to offer. If the only thing you can offer is being a positive 
good presents, you have given it all. If you're too old to sweep the floors or come to this or that, just being a lover of God will remind the rest of us what it means to be alive and radiant with the goodness of God. So the teaching, the secret here is simply awful. Trust God, even when you don't have any answers, and it looks really, really bad, take that chance. That is what Jesus is telling us to do. She is wealthier than all those rich visitors dumping their sacks of gold into the temple treasury because she doesn't need it. She has God. Think of the freedom of that. Think of having no more desires than a single desire of loving God and being loved by God fills everything. Even other religions will tell you that. Get rid of those thousands of desires, have no desires. Worship of God. Revealed by Christ. That unconditional, intimate Abba, whom we always forget about. Whom we're here today to remember. Remember not in general, but in all specific little petty human problems. And if we do as the widow does, oh, then miracles can happen. Word of the Lord, we pray with you.